Yeah, it's a lot, huh? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to another day. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Uh, we did our school stuff this morning, got everything, you know, just nothing too exciting so far this morning, but we're over here at the warehouse. Megan is gonna gather up this, a couple pieces that she's actually gonna work on painting over at the house that we're now living in because it's a little bit easier to do it over there. So we're still trying to figure out the hardest part how to is, go back and forth there's just no running water here yeah and that is hard it's I, I right now i'm doing a piece that will have a lot of blending and i really need water for that mom needs water so i this so, piece in particular i really need to be at the house so we're going to take that over to the house so megan can work on that there's some stuff i can work on here although yeah i might come back i still got to do that shelf uh unit for the for our closet that I'm doing some work on. So maybe I'll come back later and do that. But for now, we're gonna get this over there. And then, I'm not sure what else we have planned for the day. We'll see. Back here at the house, kids are playing chess. Andrew's been teaching Jude how to play chess. We'll teach him how to be What's that? Teach him how to be good at it. He understood the rules. Oh, right. Teaching him st strategies and that sort of thing, right? What? Okay, get a single piece before you move, uh... Oh. Jude, you also got a haircut, right? Oh, yeah. Let's see it. Got a little bowl cut. Looking good. I like, uh, that. You like how it feels? Yeah, it's kind of spiky, huh? It's also going to be cooler when it starts getting hot. It won't, it'll be less hot when it, like, the weather gets hot. So, mom did that. Here, let's see the back. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, and then what are you guys doing over here? Well, we're doing game So what are you, like, planning for a game or what? No, well, me and Andrew were bored. So we're, me and Andrew made characters mm -hmm. so we could fight each other later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're really powerful. Okay. And right now, I'm just testing it. Oh, see if it's testing the character? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay. At least focus. Sweet. You got a natural one? Oh, what I got? <laughs> we got the dresser back here. This one Megan's working on. So she's going to do some painting. See if she can make this look the way she wants it to. Megan made a little bit of progress on this. I was going to time lapse it, but then I needed the phone to complete some of the orders from our sale on Saturday. Um, those are all. Ah, they're almost one more that hasn't been shipped off. We're waiting for payment on. Anyways, so we've been kind of busy. Megan is, we on the, on yesterday's or the day, whatever, the vlog we recorded before this one, we said Megan's going to paint this thing right here a pink-ish color. Whoa, I can't see my screen. Yep. And we've got sirens. So you're going to paint that and put it in the library. There's, there's glass that goes in those doors that we've removed, but um, that's a fun little, we got that a little while ago. All right, so we'll see how this turns out. painted. I got it painted and I stained the top. So let's see. So I'm just looking at it in the room before I seal it. It's a lot easier to repaint when you haven't sealed the paint. Okay, it's kind of hard to see. They got open. these light, these blinds. The sun coming through. I think it looks pretty. Well, it definitely matches. Kitty approves. 
Yeah, I think I think it looks good in here. It's a good addition. And I can put the lamp on it. Oh yeah. Man. Perfect. And then all we need is the rug, and then you'll be done. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. The wood matches well oh. with the other wood that's in here. Yeah, you're right, the wood does match up with everything else. This little fella, he was out and for another night, a couple nights ago. He got a leaf here. Yeah, the night before last. The night before last, he uh, once again didn't come in or kind of disappeared overnight and then came back the next day. So what we've decided to do is when it gets to be, what, if it's three, three. or after, and if we see him or he's in the house, he's not allowed to go out anymore at, in the evening or afternoon, late guy. afternoon. He's a mess, so <laughs> he loves being outside so much. But I think he goes and hangs out with some other, like... Alley cats. Alley cats that are... <laughs> These cats are fixed, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. Um, they are Both kitties are neutered, so there's no issue there. But um, we're not real comfortable with him staying out all night because it's a little more dangerous than daytime. So we're going to try to keep him in and uh, keep him from doing all-nighters. Oh. My mom is out there working on her stuff. Eve is doing some... Watercolors? Mama. Yeah. Mama. That's watercolors. Mama, yeah. Mommy said yes? Yeah. That looks good. Mama. Who's that? Is that a person? Daddy. That's daddy? Yeah. Awesome. We'll see how that turns out. Meanwhile, Andrew is in here um, practicing piano. If you're new, you may not might not be aware of it, but um, Andrew is working on this whole year. He's doing working on a different skill every month, like really focusing on it. And then he's doing a podcast about it as he goes along. And uh, he did. Uh, let's see, we're in March now. He did chess for the first month of the year. He did like he wanted to raise his chess score to a certain amount. Oh, well, last month he was. His first goal was to memorize the Constitution, then realize that the Constitution is very long. And so he decided instead of memorizing it completely that he would make it a goal to just uh, basically do the preamble and then learn the basics of all the amendments of the Constitution. So he just understood the Constitution in general. So he worked the whole month on that. He learned a lot and he, by extension, we learned a lot about the Constitution, which was great. And then this month he's doing piano. He actually has a piano teacher um, coming every week uh, to teach him. And he's been practicing multiple hours every day to get to a certain goal by the end of the month as far as his skill in playing. So uh, his podcast is called The Fool's Errand. You can check that out on wherever you get your podcast. It's pretty good stuff. He's doing a weekly kind of a log of these, of these uh, activities he's doing. And you probably noticed, just in general, the kids are usually working on or researching, doing their own thing as far as school goes uh, for their education. All the kids are pretty much child-led and um, have their own interests that they, they, they work in and we really enjoy it. So Andrew is very actively engaged though in his project, which is fun to watch. Now what are we up to here, Meg? Well, um... Everything you waxing in, it? Well, yeah, you don't have to wax this paint. I'm actually really happy with this brand, but um, it's called Dixie Bell. The what? Of the wax or the, the paint? paint? I've never used it before, but... Dixie Bell paint, okay. Um, not an ad. I paid for it, but um, <laughs> everything in that room has a lot of texture and is old or, you know, all the books. Yeah. And I didn't want, I, I didn't want this to be so flat, so I'm taking some black wax and it's just creating some dimension and maybe a little bit of age on it. Right. Um, it's definitely making it more purple, mm -hmm. but that's okay. I think it's great. I don't um, think it looks, I don't know if it looks purple, it's just a little bit darker, which is maybe what purple is, darker pink. <laughs> but um, yeah, the paint dried really fast and really smoothly. Nice. Pretty cheap. I think we'll start trying that more. Is that a is that a chalk paint, the Dixie Bell? No, it's not. I don't even know what it is. It's just hmm. 
Hmm. But it's okay. easy to work with. Where did you, we got this from a Goodwill. How much did you pay for this? This? This piece. Like, $15? 15, like yeah. yeah. Pretty cheap. It looks like it's an antique in some ways. We can't figure out if it but actually is. I know is. it's not, but they did a good job of making it seem like one. Sometimes I wonder if it's just, well, I might, it might just be that somebody made it at home. Mm -hmm. no, Which just makes it a little bit serial numbers on the back, so I don't know. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter. But. No, it doesn't. Oh, so we should probably go over to the shop then and get the glass for it. Yeah, because I actually brought all the things that are going in it. Oh. I meant to grab the glass, but... Okay. The glass, um, so far, has survived. I know, you're <laughs> we'll right. We'll see if it can survive getting in there without losing any of it. We went over to the warehouse and picked up these pieces of glass that go back in there. So, see if I can get it in without breaking anything. Megan says she's an old lady now. I don't know. Because I am Depends in a china on. cabinet with trinkets like that. You got all the. I find pretty things and I love. The pretty little things. I love this bowl so much. This bowl? Mm hmm. I love. You know what I love? I'll tell you what I love. What do you love? I love the way that Asian art draws butterflies. They're kind of. They do them different than we do over here. Hmm. And I like them. Well, and so when I find things with butterflies on them and pretty you get them. colors, I kind of get them. I think it looks pretty good. That finishes off the room, I think. You think? Maybe? Well, this will finish. Right. Okay. Man, we keep saying that. <laughs> but uh, we're one step closer a to a that. cute room. Everything in place. I spray painted a table. It's probably dry by now. Oh, that you're gonna. Rabbit. Well, we can't seem to figure out how to get this room to be light, lighter. Because for whatever reason, when they built this house, they didn't have a light in the ceiling. I thought any any home built within the last 20 years wouldn't have a room without an installed light, but I guess that's not the case. Dinner tonight is a couple of lasagnas with a little small salad. Went to Costco a week ago. And, um, and peas. And we uh, are already pretty low on food. <laughs> so I'm amazed how quickly our kids eat. I guess we all eat it, but there's just so many of us that food goes fast. Well, as I said, we needed more food, so we came to Costco again. And this is a pretty big haul. Yeah, it's a lot, huh? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I like coming to Costco in the evenings, nice and quiet. Right, Eve? Yeah. Okay, you no, you can't ride because it's too heavy. You just gotta we just gotta walk. I was editing yesterday's video and realized that I hadn't finished it. We got home. Oops, loud in here. We got home, unloaded all the Costco groceries and basically just kind of hung out the rest of the night. Everyone's pretty excited about a full pantry. I'll show you what that looks like. There it is. Always nice to have a lot of food around. So everyone's happy about that. It is a little bit of a shorter vlog today, but we appreciate you coming along. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Go to NorpenSouth.com for any other questions or other stuff, t-shirts, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye.